Well, hello there, friends. You've asked for this recipe many times. Devil eggs. How do I make them? Well, I'm about to share with you how to make the most sexy, the most smooth and delicate, the perfect texture. It's all about the texture. Remember, the texture is the conductor of flavor. I'm going to share with you my secret how to make a smooth, delicious devil eggs. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to ring the bell. Stay tuned, friends. We're making devil eggs. Okay, friends, well, this is my way of doing it. Number one, friends, we got to make sure when you, uh, uh, if you want the shell to come out easy, <laughs> the best way to do is to put them in boiling water. Don't put them in cold water and wait it to boil and the vinegar and the salt. That, it doesn't do anything, friends. I've tried it a million times, and I promise you, put them in boiling water, nine and a half minutes, so they're not overly cooked. You know, sometimes you get you get those eggs and you put them in your mouth, it's like chalk. They so white, they cook them for 12 minutes, 13 minutes. I cook them nine and a half, 10 minutes at the most. And you see, you still have some orange in the middle, so they're not yellow, too too yellow, too, and, and they dry. And when you pull them out, it's very simple. All you gotta do is push them. And, uh, and remember, when you cook them nine and a half minutes, 10 minutes, they're gonna be more difficult to take out than if you cremate them for 12 or 13 minutes. Okay, so you have to be careful. You push them and voila. All right, so now, friends, what are we gonna do with those? I, I don't like this like, granulated texture. I like it to be a little smoother. So what I do is I take a strainer, regular strainer, and I put them in there, just like this. And then what I do is I smash them a little bit Actually, I should have smashed them in a bowl before, but it's okay. It doesn't work. It works here great also. All right, you can smash them a little bit like this. Take this out of the way. And then you take a ladle and you smoosh them so they go through it. Takes a little while, friends, to do this. But I promise you, it's worth it in the texture. Remember, the texture is a conductor of flavor. Very important, friends. Okay, so this is what we're doing. We're creating a smooth Texture, don't ever forget, the texture is the conductor of flavor. So if you have something nice and creamy and smooth, it's gonna taste a lot better than something that is all choky and, and, and not a nice texture. Okay, so we're gonna continue doing this. It takes another second. And uh, as soon as it's all down, I'm gonna start to add my wet ingredient and the flavoring of it. Now, the eggs, like I said, Nine and a half, ten minutes, no more than that. It makes it easier. I'm going to do a dozen of eggs today. And uh, and and that's it, right here. Okay, so we see, we're good. See, it just took a couple of seconds. You don't want to leave any of them in there. Then you take a spatula and clean it. You see, it's not a complicated concept. But I promise you, friends, it'll be worth it. You're going to really, really like it. I promise you. It's a little, uh, normally in a commercial environment, we have what is called a tami. And a tami is a flat strainer. It makes it easy. But I know most of you wouldn't have one of those. You'll have a, a plain strainer. So here we have it, friends. Let me take this out of the way. All right. So we have our eggs right there. And uh, now we're going to flavor them. Number one thing to do, we don't want to make sure we don't forget, is salt. All right. Then we're going to put a two teaspoon of country mustard, mustard with a seed, the mode mustard it's called, uh, grape poopo. Uh, a little bit of garlic, very little, it's about a one clove of garlic, chopped extremely, extremely fine. I'm also gonna put, friends, in here some ham, definitely uh, optional, the ham, I have about two tablespoons, roughly, or it'll be about one ounce, one ounce of uh, 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 baked ham that I cut in extremely small dice, you see? Very, very small dice. Now we got some uh, chili pepper here. I got a red uh, a chili pepper, it's not too hot. So you put a little bit of this if you wanted to. Certainly you don't have to, it's gonna give a nice little crunch. We're gonna put a little bit of chives Maybe uh, two teaspoons of chive if we were to measure it. 
Okay, and uh, put this in here. Now we're gonna put a, a tablespoon, a heavy tablespoon of uh, uh, creme fraiche or, or sour cream. If you don't have creme fraiche, then you have sour cream. And then we're gonna put here two healthy tablespoon of mayonnaise. Two healthy, and then we're gonna put a dash of hot sauce. How much you put in? It's really up to you, my friend. And that's a dash. We're gonna mix all this up. And it's gonna be nice and creamy. You see? Now, the ham, you don't have to put in the ham if you don't wanna put the ham. A lot of people don't like it. Well, then don't put it in. All right, and here we have it, friends. See, very simple. You can adjust the seasoning to your liking, friends, okay? This is very, very simple. All right, so that's it. I got a pastry bag. Oh, you know, I just forgot, I just realized. A little bit of acid. <laughs> I always forget something. And uh, that's a teaspoon of lemon juice. No more than that, because it's going to make it thin. But you need a little of, uh, lemon to, to bring the little bit of acidity to offset the fat. Yeah, because it's very important, remember. Lemon uh, brings the brightness. It'd be very little, very little, a little teaspoon, eh? That's it, if you were to measure. Just a, a squeeze of lemon, friends. All right? So now we're gonna put it in a pastry bag. Very, very simple. Oh, remember when you put it in a pastry bag, friends, remember to twist before you put it in. Twist. Okay, and then it won't come out. Now here, it's, not, it's pretty solid, so if the chances are then it's not gonna come out, but just in case it did, if you have something more liquid, then you would be in trouble. Remember, everything has to be super, super small, eh? And don't miss any of it. All right? And here we have it. That's it, and we'll take this out. And I got myself a, uh, a plate where I am going. So, so now you see, now I need to bring this. So what I do is I twist, I twist, I twist, and I can push because this is closed down there. So you see, I can push and push and push, make sure it's all down there. You see, you never let go of this, friends. You never let go of this. You push, you push, you push, and now you can open up the gates. And now you'll take your egg and you'll just pour it in here. That's it. Beautiful. All right, friends, I'm going to fill them all up. And I come back and I'll give you a, a quick little final decoration that I have surprised for you. All right? Okay, friends. Well, just took a couple of minutes to do it. Clean up a little bit. And on top of it, I'm going to put prosciutto chips. Come by those, easy to do, friends. Two cookie sheets. Put one on top of the other, but in between, a piece of parchment paper. You put a slice of prosciutto, put another piece of parchment paper, put it on, put it in the oven, 400 degrees for probably 15, 20 minutes. 15, 20 minutes later, take this out, leave it in the oven another 10 minutes, and you'll get prosciutto chips. Friends, <laughs> they, they're crispy, they're amazing. Yeah, yeah they're crispy. <laughs> so look, guys, you take them, cut little pieces of it, and put it, you can, can't really cut them, so you put them right there on your, on your egg. And you do the whole plate just like this, see? How cool. You see, friends? Pretty simple, huh? And then you can also put uh, a, a little more chives. Give it a little more fresh onion flavor. Just two or three pieces of it right there. Nicely organized. All right, friends. Voila. Very simple. <laughs> you think I'm not going to eat one? <laughs> you won't. Here you go, friend. Have a little chips in it. And, um, mm. mmm. Mm. Mm. <laughs> no, I cannot speak. Forgive me. It's delicious. Mm. My friends, 
I hope you make it. Remember, you can skip the ham, you can skip the prosciutto, but they're delicious. I hope you make it. Mmm, they're delicious. Oh, question people always ask me, what about butter? The problem is if you put butter when they're cold, which you gotta serve them cold, right? When they're cold, the butter gets hard and makes it difficult. So you can put a little bit of butter, but be careful. Like I said, it will congeal. Friends, I hope you make it. Thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to ring the bell. Thanks for watching, friends.